okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some dummy data so let's say in my dummy data I have something called as months so from January from, sorry, from Jan, January till December and I'm just going to drag it down and the next thing that I have is let's say average stock price so for generating random stock price numbers I'm going to use a formula called rand between okay. so what the rand between does is it generates random numbers between uh, two numbers so I can specify that my stock price is going to be between 1000 and let's say 2000 so you specify the bottom range and you specify the top range this is my bottom range and then you specify the top range and that's it and I can just simply drag this formula down till the month of December and I have random numbers between 1000 and 2000 so this is my data I'm going to pick up my data and I'm going to insert a chart let's say a line chart with markers okay now I can clearly see that uh, in this chart this uh, probably happens to be my highest which is nearly 1843 in the month of January the stock and uh, I guess this point in July is 1001 the lowest uh, point in my stock price and I want to let's say highlight the highest point and the minimum point differently so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to pick up all these markers I can right click on this the first marker so uh, right now all of them are selected if I click on the first marker once again only this is selected I click on it and I'm going to fill it with let's say green color because this is the highest point in the stock and then I'm going to pick up the lowest point and then right click on it and maybe put it in red color okay the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, reduce the weight of my lines to just one point uh, weight of all the lines outline and weight of all the lines to just let's say okay now if you can just see that this is my highest point and this you can see that this is my lowest point now the problem is that uh, this data is dynamic it's made up of uh, the rand function which changes as soon as uh, you refresh your excel sheet so as soon as I refresh my excel sheet what is happening is that all the data is refreshed and now the point which I selected as the highest in my chart is no more the highest or the point that I selected as the lowest in my chart is not anymore the lowest point so I have to do something in Excel that tricks the Excel to understand that okay uh, you know this is some sort of a trick and uh, I have to kind of only pick up the highest and the lowest points let's see how we can do that in Excel so I'm just going to put this chart aside okay now the first thing that I that I would want to know always in spite of the data being changing is that what is my highest point and what is my lowest point so I'm just going to create two cells here so I'm just going to write maximum point and minimum point and uh, I'm just going to use the maximum formula equals to max and select this range and find out the maximum value this is going to give me the maximum value and then I'm going to similarly figure out that what is the minimum value in my data okay so this is my maximum value and this is my minimum value now even though this values these values are changing I will always get to know that what is my maximum value and what is what is my minimum value because I've applied a formula to find that out now uh, I have to do I have to kind of plot this 1956 in the chart in against the right month so I guess this is the point where in May where the highest value is this and I want to you know make this as green or something other something more highlighting than the usual ones so I'm going to write uh, I'm going to create a dummy series here so I write a dummy dummy for max okay now I'm going to write a formula called an if formula so in the if formula which is made up of three parts the first part is that what is your logical test what is the condition that you're trying to test 
The second part is what if that condition stands true, what action do you want to take? And the third part in the formula is that what if the condition is false, what action do you want to take? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check this. If this number is equal to the maximum or not, so is C6 equals to C18 or not? Right now it's not, so it's going to give me a false. So if it is equal, I want to have this number. Otherwise, I want to have a zero. Okay, and when I drag this formula down, I want these cells to move down, but I don't want the maximum point to move down. So I'm just going to lock this with the F4 key. And that's it. So since this is not the maximum point, it gives me a zero. So if this value, if this condition is not true, it's going to give you a zero. If this condition is true, it's going to give you the same number. And I'm going to generate these series and drag it this down till the end. So this is the maximum point. It will always give me a maximum point here. So I'm going to refresh this data. And right now, this is the maximum. It's going to give me the maximum. Similarly, I draw a dummy for a minimum series. So I'm just going to write the same formula if condition. Now I'm going to ins I'm just going to check uh, the same number with not the maximum but the minimum point. So if this number is equal to the minimum point, because these are the two points that I want to bring out separately in my data, so I'm uh, performing a if condition on max and an if condition on min. So uh, if this number is equal to the minimum, then you give me this number, else you give me a zero. Okay, and just as uh, the, the way that we did it in the earlier if formula, I'm going to lock this number because I don't want this cell to travel down. So I'm just going to lock it and I will copy my formula down. Now I have a maximum dummy and I have a minimum dummy. So these dummies are only picking up uh, the maximum and these dum this dummy is only picking up uh, the minimum value. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my chart and I'm going to add more data inside my chart. So uh, I'll right click anywhere on the chart on the chart and I will go to select data option. In the select data option, I just have one series which is average stock price as of now. I'm going to insert a dummy for max. So I'm going to say add and series name is nothing and I will say that series values is this value. So here, I say okay and I'm going to add another series for minimum series name is nothing and series values is this and I'll say okay I'll say okay and I'll say okay now if you just take a look that uh, uh, you know the maximum and the minimum are being highlighted all that we don't want these lines to come in here so I'm just going to pick up this line this data series and right click on it and I'll say that I don't want to have the outline. I'm going to pick up this data series again for the minimum and right click on it and say that I don't want to have the outline. Okay. Now uh, the the earlier ones that we did it manually, this was the one that we did it manually and this was the one that we did it manually. I'm going to uh, bring it back to their default color. So I click on this and I'll say that your default color was blue. Now everything is in blue apart from the uh, maximum point and the minimum point. Now let's say when I refresh this data, press F9, you see that this is actually uh, you know, the highest point in my data series and this is actually the lowest point in my data series. It's automatically being picked up. So what you have done is you have created two dummy series and put it inside your chart. This dummy series is picking up only the maximum and this dummy series is only picking up the minimum inside your data. So this is the way that you can probably, um, uh, you, you can create uh, uh, maximum and minimum highlighting points in your data series. I hope you really like this video and uh, you're going to make great use of it. Uh, thanks for watching and do take care of yourselves.